what is up y'all we are back for another episode in the sti today we're continuing on the series we're gonna be working on the we're gonna be working on the fueling today and our inlet because i want to get it on before we put in the intake manifold because i'm not going to struggle with trying to put it on but yeah today we're going to be doing fuel rails fuel lines the e85 kit from cobb and we'll see what else this is gonna be my first time I'm gonna have to cut these lines to my, to like have them all equal because I'm doing the parallel fuel lift system. So we're gonna have to figure that out. And yeah, we're gonna get this done today or try to at least. I'm taking my time. It might take me today and tomorrow to finish it honestly, but yeah, we're gonna try to get this done today guys, fueling day. So as you can see, we have our wiring harness out and our old fueling system so we are going with fuel rails we're going with ieg fuel rails and 1050 injector dynamics i will show you guys in a bit and then we're doing the custom an fuel um braided fuel lines so yeah i'm gonna make some room in this table so i could be able to put the fuel rails on here and make them on here so yeah catch you guys in a bit so yeah, as you guys can see, the NVIDIA downpipe, um, I showed it in a different video, but I'm going to show you guys again. This is the downpipe. Very nice, very high quality. As you can see, look at these welds. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, I got this custom work. I respect. And very excited to have that for the gauge. You can see the sensor right there. So yeah, let me clear the table, guys. Okay, as you guys can see here, we got our TGV deleted tgvs <laughs> so first thing i'm gonna be doing guys i'm going to be cleaning the surfaces on these tgvs and get them looking all shiny and nice because when you put the gaskets you do not want to be putting them on on some dirty surfaces and then end up having some leaks and having to end up taking it off again because you got a leak also make sure you guys clean the surfaces of of the tgvs for the block i'm going to just be using some brake cleaner with a towel and just rub it off so i'll catch you guys in a bit once they're clean so some brake cleaner guys some brake cleaner okay we got them all cleaned up i'm gonna still look dirty but i don't want to scratch it and then make the surfaces uneven but i did use brake cleaner and clean them down got all the grime off make sure they're feeling nice so the gaskets go on nice so here are the injectors as you guys can see injector dynamics these are my 1050 injectors right here you will also be needing the adapters so you can plug them into the injector to the oem harness over here we have our fuel rails right here IAG fuel rails with the injectors. Over here, you can see we have our Cobb ethanol sensors. Yup, here it is, here it is. Very nice. Very nice. Little scratch, but it's whatever. No one's gonna see it. And over here, we got our fueling. As you can see, here's our diagram that I will be following, just like that. And I also have to do some research on how to cut these properly, get, get a good cut on these hoses. And then we have our fittings in here. And then on top of this box right here, we have our aftermarket, our aftermarket aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. So very excited about this guys, very excited. I'll hit you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So I am starting with the adapters, putting them on the regulator and the fuel rails. As you can see, this kit provides you with two different adapters to get to your A lines. Okay. So the bigger one is going to be to your fuel rail. This smaller one is going to be going to your regulator if you got a regulator. So you see the O-ring, guys? The o-ring right there sorry let it focus the o-ring the o-ring is going to be going into the regulator 
same here o-ring is going to be going into the fuel rail and i'm not threading them in right now guys because i don't want to mess them up make sure you use your an wrench i recommend getting an adjustable one just to make life easier but they also do provide you an an wrench with your kit also the reason why i am not threading them in yet and tightening them is because here i have my oil you're gonna want to put some oil on these threads because you do not want to damage them aluminum gets damaged very easily and you don't want to be damaging them so i'm gonna be putting some oil on here and then tightening them down for you guys i'll show you guys once i get that okay guys as you can see I just cut up a water bottle put some oil in there so i could be dabbing it in i'm gonna put this back here actually so i'm just gonna want to get a good amount get it on the threads and thread it in so let me do that for you guys let me really tell there but so just dab it up with your fingers get it all on the threads like that just like that because it will never hurt and then i'm gonna get it in here and just like that just way easier just flipped in earlier i was struggling to put it in but just like that guys and you just want to Get it in there and it's all good to go, ready to go. So, you're gonna wanna get your AN wrench. See, this is too big to fit. So that is why I recommend getting an adjustable one. So with this adjustable one, I'll be able to adjust it. And with these, you do not want to over tighten. Just snug tight, will be fine, good enough. And that's how you do it, guys. Same thing, same process. I'll do it for you guys over here sorry with the regulator again get a dab of oil put it on the threads on the o-ring side and then you're going to want to thread it into the regulator make sure you're threading it straight you don't want to damage the threading and then have some leaks and just like that just tighten it nice and tight just like that guys and it's ready to go so you're going to want to do that for both of the fuel rails all three of these like i said they provide you with four for the fuel rails and then these three for the regulator okay guys we got them all oiled up and tightened got them all in the regulator on the fuel rails and right here make sure you guys do not over tighten you guys don't want to damage the o-ring and you guys just don't want to damage the aluminum in general because it bends easy so just don't over tighten guys just just snug tight it'll be fine so Next up, we're gonna start building the fuel rails. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to put the injector in. Make sure also that you guys lube it up. By lube it up, I mean put some oil as well. You do not wanna damage the O-ring on the injector. Right there too, you don't wanna damage that O-ring. So make sure you guys just put some, some lube, I mean oil, whatever, my bad. Just oil it up. And then when you stick it in, so you don't damage the O-ring, guys. So, let me set this up so I could show you guys the process on how to make it. Alright, guys. So, like I said, you're going to want to put some oil. It doesn't hurt. Just so you don't damage that O-ring. Okay. You're going to want the pigtail going out to the side. And you're just going to want to slide it in there. <laughs> so guys actually that's why the they weren't fitting earlier the injectors when i tried putting it in as you can see the old sleeve were stuck in the injector i mean in the tgv the old sleeve was stuck in the tgv so just got a i got a flathead and a mallet and i went in from in here and i just hammered them out and yeah they are out now so we got them out and i'll update you guys we'll continue on this now okay so now that we got the old covers off we got them in also oiled up the o-rings up here because like i said guys make sure you want to oil it up so you don't damage the o-ring and rip it off because then you're going to need to order new o-rings so yeah what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to put them in just like that and then you're going to want to use these spacers that they provide with you and then these bolts and then also don't forget actually this so right here goes in the bottom of the fuel rail to cover it up so you're going to want to do that so make sure to do that before you put them on okay guys so 
we got these all tightened in on the bottom and with injectors i had them loosely in what i found out is you got to push them in until you hear a little pop and then once you hear that little pop then they're very snug in there and they're not coming out so make sure you guys hear that pop so now i'm gonna set my phone down my bad guys that's hard to record with this phone like that i got it in okay so now you're gonna want to get your allen wrench And I'm just going to start screwing them in. Just like that. Just like that, guys. And you're going to want to just keep screwing it in until you see this whole spring compressed, I believe. That's what I'm going to do, at least. That's what I am going to do. Okay. I'll update you guys when I'm back and done. Alright, guys. We got both of the fuel reels on and assembled. And I put on the adapters. Slid on just nice. Very snug. Not going nowhere. So I will be taking these two hoses off and I will be installing these hardline adapters and also I am I'll show you guys how to do this but I'm just um figuring out how to properly put on and seal this AN line so I think it's pretty simple I'll update you guys on it also for the regulator this one in the front was supposed to be for the gauge that i had bought in but sadly i will not be able to use it no more because this is the cob fuel pressure sensor and it actually bolts in right there so i won't be able to run the gauge no more because i will be running the fuel pressure sensor for the flex fuel kit instead so yeah that is what goes there and i will be putting that on all right guys we got the old fuel lines off that connected to the hard wheels as you can see, it is going to be this light gray one and this dark one that you're going to be wanting to take off. So, okay guys, so for the fuel lines, when it's coming out, since it's going to be parallel, you're going to want to make sure that your lines are even and equal, not make sure, because you don't want to get one side feeding more gas than the other. So make sure these guys are the same length. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to get these three straights and the pack and you're gonna want to get these boys and loom them up again get this t and then just i'm just gonna screw these on for now and then once i get the lines on these onto the lines i'm just gonna screw it on and then just screw it back into there like that so yeah for now i'm just gonna set up the t so got these straights took them off gonna get them all oiled up and then i'm just gonna screw them on for now just to set it up for the future Okay guys, so it should look like this. And like I said, once I get my hoses cut, which will be later, you're just gonna wanna put these onto the hose, get them all nice and snug on there. And then all you do is just tighten your back on just like that. So yeah, I got the T set up and this is what it should look like. Okay guys, so for the fuel pressure regulator, same thing. I'm going to be running these two straights off the sides that come from the return of the fuel rails. And for the bottom, I'm gonna be using this 90. It's gonna go just like that. So just so I'm prepping all this so when I cut my lines, I could have them all done and ready. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll show you guys when I'm done. And make sure again, use your oil and then snug tight with the A and wrench. All right guys, we got the spark plugs and coil packs in. We cleaned the surfaces. And now we are putting on the gaskets back on these TGV gaskets and we're throwing them on our TGVs now. As you can see, they are deleted, covered them up so nothing gets in the intake manifold in there. And we're gonna bolt them down now. So we're gonna put them right there and on the side. All right guys, we got both of the TGVs on. I'm not gonna be bolting them down all the way. I'll let you guys know what are the torque specs for the four bolts. As you can see, it's right there, that one. 
those two and that one in the corner and i'll let you guys know got the gaskets on too as you can see are the gaskets so yeah once i I'll bolt those on completely once i get the inlet on and the fueling and the harnesses all right guys we have the tgvs mounted and this is how i'm running the lines down through over here under this line hard line to this t coming out right here it ran over here and these ones are gonna go back to the middle same thing with her here under the turbo inlet under here through everything away from the heat and then the outside like that so that's how i'm running my lines now i'm gonna put the inlet on and then i'm gonna put the wiring harness back on all right i got the inlet on gonna try to close that little gap right there but other than that it's good all right guys so we got the wiring harness already bolted onto the manifold and now we're just going to figure out the wiring how we're going to set it up but other than that it's just plugging everything back in now all right guys so that's going to be all for this episode sorry this episode was not really that helpful but yeah we built the fuel rails installed injectors and we ran from the back to this T right here and then running it straight right here out back to the hard rail and then for the regulator I'll make a separate video so comes for the back of the fuel rails comes out it's gonna be these two and I will be mounting let me grab the regulator I will be making a custom bracket and I'm gonna try to mount it right here in the middle try to get these return as even as possible this, well, this one's still a little longer because I have to come under the turbo. But yeah, I'm going to be mounting these right here, just like that, with the regulator right there. So I'll make a video on how I'm routing the regulator, but it's pretty simple. This side, this line comes to this one, this line comes to this one, then exit goes to the return. But next, so yeah, guys, that's going to be all it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.